Hello, my friends. It is time for another skincare empties video. You all probably know the drill as you seem to enjoy this series a lot, but in case you don't, every two months I go through all of my empties to give you some final thoughts. More details are in the description box below where you can also find timestamps to each of the categories in today's video. One more thing before we start this video, I was looking at all of my empties thinking about all of the videos I've been watching lately, which is all the Sephora sale. Oh my gosh, how many Sephora sale videos were published on YouTube in the past couple of weeks? Oh my gosh. And I thought about how I have backups of some of these products that I stocked up on in the Sephora sale and, uh, and other sales, and I wanna talk about that. I want to make a case against stocking up on skincare products, especially at 20% off, via showing you empties. So let's do that today. Our first category is cleansers. So the Eve Lum Cleanser. This is a product that you don't need. <laughs> That's a strong start for an empties video. You don't need it though, it's totally optional. The reason I like it is because I enjoy my skincare routine and there's a whole routine, a whole uh, ritual that Eve Lom suggests to do with this where you use the provided cloth, you use hot water, then you use cold water. It's, it's an amazing ritual, but it's super optional. However, you're allowed to enjoy anything in your routine that you enjoy and I enjoy this, but I would never pay full price for this. You can find and Eve Lom for 50% off or better. I've found a lot of uh, holiday sets that are discounted heavily after the holidays. That is my favorite time to buy from the Eve Lom brand. Then the Fresh Kombucha Cleansing Treatment. I don't always wash my face every morning. I find that works better for me to use, uh, sometimes to skip cleanser or to just use a, a cleansing treatment such as this one. I've decided I'm gonna stop buying this though. I've, I've made this decision based off of past experiences with products being discontinued. I love this. I love this product so much, but so many people don't like it at all. I just think there's not a lot of us that use this type of product. And so when it ends up in the hands of people who aren't, you know, who don't have my exact routine, I think they don't know what to do with it. And so because of it, it's not a very well-loved product and I wouldn't be surprised if for as much as I like it, I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up discontinued. So I've decided to get a head start on moving away from it just in case. I bought the Innisfree Blueberry Cleansing Treatment, which I will be sharing with you all in an upcoming Korean skincare reviews video. So far, so good. I am happy with it. The Buy Wish Trend Acid Duo 2% Mild Gel Cleanser. I am shocked by how much I like this. I feel like I shouldn't like it as much as I do because it's a gel cleanser and I'm always going off about not liking gel cleansers. But as you can probably see here, hopefully, it also contains 1% of LHA and 1% of PHA. And perhaps what is simply going on with that is, you know, I've made this recommendation on this channel before that if you struggle with certain ingredients, you might wanna try them in a cleanser. And for me, I actually struggle with chemical exfoliators. Yeah, that's why I've sworn by physical exfoliators for so long. Things have kind of changed. I've noticed that physical exfoliators are a lot more harsh on my skin since I started using Adapalene. So I've kind of been, you know, venturing into this category of gentle chemical exfoliating cleansers. And this has ended up being one that works really well for me. So I've gone ahead and repurchased this for the time being, but I will tell you, uh, if I ever come across a, an LHA and PHA, cream cleanser. Oh my goodness, I might abandon this. Let me know if you all uh, know of a product that might, uh, might meet those needs of mine. Our next category is toners and essences. And in this category, I received the Dongyinbi essence in PR. I purchased the others. Okay, so uh, this Kahi Wrinkle Bounce Collagen Mist Ampoule, I really, really loved this. I was running low and I almost repurchased it because it's such a nice fine mist. I actually, I, I kind of contemplated if this should be in this section because I like this over makeup. It's such a fine mist. And it really replaced the Glow Recipe Watermelon Mist for me, which was just kind of too expensive in my personal opinion. But I'm so glad I didn't. I did not stock up on this. And the reason is because I actually have a new favorite that I love even more, this the Beekman Milkshake. 
Oh my goodness, I love this over makeup so much. And look at this, it's 8.1 fluid ounces. This thing is huge. I've been using this all the time and it looks like I've barely made a dent in it. I don't think you realize how much more eight fluid ounces of toner is until you start using it. Because most of these are, what, maybe four ounces? 3.3 .3 ounces, 4.2 ounces. What the heck, little recipe, don't you have to have the size? That's just over two fluid ounces. So yeah, 8.1 fluid ounces is huge, which actually sort of makes this affordable. If you break down the math, what would that be? $14 for the same amount as these products? These two. So anyway, I loved that. I really still love this, but I like that Beekman Mist a little bit more. I really do. The Indie Lee Coenzyme Q10 Toner. Let's come back to that. I wanna talk about the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. So you know how I was just saying that I, uh, prefer PHA. Yeah, so again, you're actually not gonna see a single alpha hydroxy acid product in this entire video. I've moved away from that ingredient and my skin responds better. And while this says it contains BHA, I believe it is uh, the, what is it, willow bark in here, which is a lot more gentle on your skin than salicylic acid. So I really did enjoy this toner. I bought this in the Sephora sale last November and I'm just now getting to it. I'm just now getting to it. This is a really thick product. See, that's the, the catch with this. It's not watery, it's thick. It almost feels more like an essence. And so you don't need as much product. And so it ends up lasting a whole lot longer than you could imagine. I think this was going for over a year. Oh look, the size is here, five fluid ounces, okay. And as much as I hate to say this because I do still like this product, I feel like I really, don't need it. If I didn't already stock up on it, I would not be buying it in this uh, Sephora VIB sale. I wouldn't be. I'll still use it, but oh my gosh, it took me a year to get to it. Don't stock up on products. Now, the Indie Lee, I do love this Coenzyme Q10 toner. Oh my goodness, I do love it. And I actually did stock up on this, but I'm not mad about this. I bought this in the 21 Days of Beauty, the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty in the spring for 50% off. And it's a little hard to be mad about getting a 50% off deal. It's a big difference between, you know, getting the 20% off. You see what I'm saying? And I got to that sooner. You know, I'm, I'm already ready for my next Indie Lee because this is really one of my absolute favorite toners. So it's a bit of a, a, a balance to be found in stocking up. Uh, you know, I'm saying I regret this one. I don't regret this one. And then finally, the Dung Inbi 1899 Single Essence. I actually went to buy that again in the Amazon Prime sale, but I couldn't find it. And I had a lot of you uh, message me about the same issue. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if Dung Inbi is struggling. I don't know what's happening, but I really do love this. Oh, I, I love this product. We are moving right along to the serums category, which always looks obnoxious for me. I was trying to figure this out and I think I know what's happened. I think I use a lot more serum and every one of these is one, well, except for this, all of these are one fluid ounce or smaller. And you see, while years ago I used to put serums only on my face and neck, I have started taking that advice of, you know, taking your skincare down a little bit further on your body. Y'all know the expression that some skinfluencers say, right? You know it. So anyway, I don't do this on camera, by the way, <laughs> just because I feel like it might be a little odd for you to have to look at me in person going, Ugh, uh. I'm sorry, y'all. You probably were able to picture exactly what I was doing off screen, right? You, you probably were. Okay, anyway, let's talk about these serums. So this is, again, always a funny category for me. And I think, what if I arranged these from how, in, in terms of how long they lasted on me? Hold on, I'm gonna do that really quickly. Okay, yeah, so I just arranged the one fluid ounce size serums. These are different, so we'll separate them out. But this one lasted me the longest and this one the shortest period of time. And I think there's an interesting conversation to have here. So the Alginist Genius Liquid Collagen, uh, which I did receive in PR, by the way, you can probably see how thick of a product this is, right? Can you, can you see this on camera here? These are the little balls of vegan collagen in there. Yeah, this is a very, very thick serum. And as such, it lasts for a really long time. Whereas over here on the opposite end of the spectrum, the Peach Slices Snail Rescue, I'm so glad I filmed exactly when I did because the next time I went to use this after filming that video, I was out of it. 
but that makes sense because it's a very light product. It, it has kind of a gel texture, but it absorbs so quickly into your skin that I think it's kind of easy to use a lot of this. And also your skin will respond well to a lot of this. So it's, it's a very funny situation here because while this lasted me a month, this lasted me a year. And if you break down the price per ounce, this is, you know, a heck of a lot more expensive. But if you break down the price per period of time spent using the products, then this is a better deal. Not necessarily saying you need to run out and buy this, but do, do you get what I'm, what I'm trying to convey here? I think it's that it's a whole different aspect of skincare to talk about how long products actually last in usage versus in, you know, the volume. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so I do really enjoy this. I admit that I have another one of these I received in PR, and I'm very grateful for that because I love this product, but it is expensive, although not expensive price per period of time spent using. We really need a, a way to shorten that. The Ghost Democracy Light Bulb Vitamin C Serum, that lasted me a really long time also. I think because it kind of has an oily texture, typically THD ascorbate based vitamin C serums do have that kind of a texture especially when it's a very high percentage. This one is 18%. I love that one. I want to repurchase it, but I've got to get through some other vitamin C serums before I do that. That is a great price though, and it does last a long time. Whereas with L-ascorbic acid serums, you need to go through them more quickly. The I'm From Vitamin Fruit Serum, I really enjoyed that one too. It has some sea buckthorn in it. Great product, lasted me a while. It's a thicker product. Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Dark Spot Serum, I honestly really like this one also. This is creamy, so it actually lasts a pretty long time. It took me an extra period of time to get through this though because the bottle design makes it so the last few drops are hard to get out. I did have to kind of have it stored upside down and just kind of take the whole top off to get the last out, but I, I really enjoyed this one. And I liked the Peach Slices Snail Rescue, but I won't repurchase it because it just didn't last long enough. Too expensive, too, it's too, too expensive in terms of price per period of time used. We're working on it, we're working on it, okay? Look at this, I finally finished my first tube of La Roche-Posay Epiclar. I did repurchase that one, and I sort of regret that I stocked up because it expires in, I think, May? Maybe, maybe April? But, Ara did help me out with this one, so maybe she'll help me out with that one too so we can go through it faster. Anyway, I do have to tell you all, I think this is my favorite skincare product of all time now. I think it's replaced the Coser X Snail 96. I think it has. I will link you my video if you want the six month update on this. I, I absolutely love this, y'all. And then the Bao Endymion's Luminous C. I think it's a really smart idea that they packaged this into 15 milliliter bottles. You get three at a time. Super cute little company. This was gifted in PR. Um, so I'm not, I have two more of these to go through. And hold on, let me show you what else I stocked up on. You can't see me, but if my microphone is working properly, I'm on my way to the fridge. <sighs> I actually bought this one. I didn't need to. I don't know why I did. I genuinely think the Geek and Gorgeous Sea Glow is just as effective anyway. But yeah, I've got to get through this. It's L ascorbic acid. These things don't last long. Let's see what the color is of this right now, actually. Dang it. It's already kind of yellowy. Ugh. SkinCeutical says it's fine, but anyway, this is going to be the next one I'm going to work my way through, but I've got to have some self-control in terms of vitamin C. It is actually one of my absolute favorite skincare ingredients. I like to take it, again, all the way down. I've taken some of it down my back lately. Love this ingredient. Don't think you need to overspend for it, and please don't stock up. Please don't stock up on L-ascorbic acid serums. On to the moisturizer section, which is shockingly small given how much serum I went through, but maybe it's because, maybe it's because of the size, or maybe it's because these are all kind of heavier, or maybe it's because I do like to do the slugging method. Anyway, let's get into these. So I've said it before and I will say it again, you can clearly see. I do like my drugstore moisturizers. My speculation as to why is because, you know, by the time I get to this step, I've already uh, put so many products onto my skin where I'm happy with the ingredients and the formulation that it just doesn't necessarily matter that much by this step. In fact, again, the only reason I have this Kate Somerville Delicate Recovery Cream is because it's one of Ara's favorites too. I think Ara likes the Kate Somerville brand. Although she did surprise me with her new favorite moisturizer. She super surprised me. She likes the, uh, 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 hold on, I gotta go get it from her side of the bed. Here you go, Ara's new favorite moisturizer. True story, I kid you not, she came to me and she says, I really like this, I hope this one's not too expensive. Yeah, 
I hope you're all laughing about that because that is hilarious. But yeah, she said she loves this because she just uses the tiniest amount and it works. And I'm like, you don't even have to use a tiny amount with that one, not at all. But that's the way she uses skincare. I definitely use a lot more in comparison to her. Anyway, we both like this one. It's a wonderful recovery cream. I just don't think it's uh, necessarily a product you have to spend that much on. Again, I don't think I'll repurchase it, but I did like it. The Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I like this one. I overly stocked up on this in the Black Friday sale last year, and I will probably be tempted to do it again because the prices are so good from the Good Molecules brand. Don't suck up, Alice. You have too much moisturizer. The Versed Recovery Mode Advanced Night Cream. I really enjoy this one too. It has kind of that drunk elephant delivery system where you push down on the pump and it pumps out. It's kind of heavier. Both, all of these are kind of heavier. And yet these are my summer empties. I feel like I've really revealed a lot about myself there. And then finally, this product, which I never stopped calling Aquaphor. I did not replace this with the CeraVe Healing Ointment, but I did instead replace it with Aquaphor because they're very similar. Can you tell how much I love this? Can you, can you tell? Ooh, the lettering is all coming off. Anyway, wonderful for healing. I and lip next, which I actually am really surprised by what happened here. So let me tell you the story. Shiseido is a brand that doesn't work for me. 99% of the time, apparently. No, 90% of the time, I love their foundations also. But there are skincare products just always, I always get some kind of a reaction from them. My, my guess is it has to be something in the fragrance. I, I can't figure out what else it could be. And it's something that I've received quite a few hateful comments for from people who love the brand. And I get it, I, I get it. But I ended up getting this from, I think, Influencer. I don't think Shiseido would voluntarily send me PR with the kind of reviews I've given on them, on this channel, on them, you know what I mean. Uh, so anyway, I got this from Influencer and I decided, you know what, let's try it. The Benefian's Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream, let's, let's try it. And while I was scared initially to start using this because of all my past reactions with the brand, I think I switched over to this. I think I practically completely switched over to this. Now it's, this is extremely expensive. So don't feel like you have to buy this. I'm not gonna repurchase it because it's too expensive, but I'm also gonna tell you honestly, wow. <laughs> my eye area was so soft and supple and brightened. It was incredible. And so I feel like, oh, well, finally, I can tell you another Shiseido product worked for me. Still, again, not gonna repurchase it, just too expensive, but I understand where all of you who got mad at me in the past are coming from. Apparently this brand has very effective products if you can use them. The Kopari Lip Glossy, I heard that these started trending on TikTok, so I guess the kiddos finally found out what I've known for a while, and that is, this is a really nice lip gloss. Gloss Balm Hybrid, uh, it's such a nice texture, not sticky even slightly, and it feels so nice on your lips, it feels so nice. And then in sunscreens, an amazing thing has happened in the past couple of months, and that is, I stopped testing sunscreens. I feel very, uh, you know, not not like a skin fluencer. You're supposed to be testing a new sunscreen every day as a skin fluencer. But I tried this darn Skin 1004 Madagascar Centella Hyaluceca Water Fit Sun Serum. I just haven't wanted to use anything else since. I, I just haven't. With this one, I did a sponsorship, and by the way, I received this in PR also. But. Oh, that was my true thoughts. This is that good of a sunscreen. I do still like the beauty of Josan. I wonder if I will like this more as we get into the winter months. Some of you uh, suggested that in the comments and I think you might be right. That might happen because this feels so lightweight. And the Eccentry Hyaluronic Acid Airy Sun Stick. I always have some kind of a sun stick with me. Oh, I did buy all of your Round Lab recommendations, which meant three sunscreens in total. So I will have to start testing some other sunscreens. I've already gotten a head start with the uh, Round Lab cushion and I'm not ready to talk about it. I'm not ready to talk about that one. Uh-uh, not ready. I feel like I've really hit my breaking point with zinc oxide. Like I put up with zinc oxide for, you know, decades of my life and I just, I don't wanna do it anymore. I don't wanna do it anymore. Again, Adapalene has changed my skin to make it a little bit more dry and it's just that, that, that made my breaking point with zinc oxide. So yeah, that's why you don't see any zinc oxide. Good Lord, I need to use my Tatcha sun. I like these more and they cost less, ugh. Our last category is sheet masks, and some of you may have seen this coming. If you watched my last empties video where I said I was done with sheet masks, you may have seen this coming because I didn't have anywhere near the same number of toners, did I? But remember how I said I was gonna make a lot of this video about not stocking up? 
At this point, I am using up sheet masks that I purchased in the past, and I won't purchase any more of them because that system that I will, I promise y'all, I'll make a video dedicated to the topic. Uh, the system of uh, making my own sheet masks via compressed sheet masks works so well. It works so well, I don't need to keep cre creating this amount of waste. In all fairness, I do prefer the Medicube system. This is the Super Sika Daily Quick Mask, and you get, I think it was 30, isn't it 30 sheet masks in here? Oh yeah, it's right there, right there, 30 sheets. I did like this system, and this is the first time, the first time that I've used this system and not had the packaging break on me. It did not break. So well constructed, that was gifted by Medicube, but again, for as much as I like that system, I still produce less waste by making my own sheet masks. So good option if you aren't interested in that. I'm gonna compress, compress sheet mask. I think I just tried to turn that into a verb. The Rovectin Lotus Water Calming Sheet Mask. I do love this one. I do love this one. Eye patches are still a bit of a weakness for me. They really are, but I, it, it's for a good reason. So I will use these on my skin before I go in with eyeshadow. <laughs> because not only am I getting a smoothing effect from them, but it also prevents fallout. So it's, it's, that's why I go through so many eye patches. It's extra self-care and doing my makeup at the same time. I, I love these sticky type of um, eye patches. So I think this will be my exception to the compressed sheet mask situation, especially because this brand, this Look At Me brand, is so inexpensive on Yes Style. I confess, this is actually where I stocked up. I, I really did. I bought seven packages of these in my last Yes Style order. I love them. There's nothing special in the ingredients. It's just that I put a, a different eye serum on under them, and then I feel like I get so many benefits for my eye area. Love them. I also really like the Bolden Awake Under Eye Patch. I did receive this one in PR. You will see one more video where I use these. What an incredible formula. What, a, what an amazing formula. Niacinamide, alpha arbutin, and tranexamic acid. There's even a tiny amount of tartaric acid in here, which is a less common AHA. Wonderful company. Oh, yeah, made in Korea. We have had this conversation before, haven't we? It is $24.50 for 10 pairs of these, so I'm gonna try to stock the Bolden website for some really good Black Friday sales because I absolutely love these. These are some of the best eye patches I've ever tried. Especially for brightening, especially for brightening. The Farmstay Collagen Waterfall Hydro Gel Eye Patch, those were all right. They, they were just okay. Uh, they were pretty hydrating for my under eye area, but I just kind of feel like I like, I like smoothing and I like brightening. These don't smooth, it's just the combination. The combination of them with another serum does. I like smoothing and brightening more so than hydrating. But yeah, I guess, you know, it, it always does come down to the qualities that you are looking for in your skincare products. Uh, a few empties here of acne patches. So the Mighty Patch from Hero, I got that in the Ulta Gift with Purchase bag from Platinum Perks Day, or from 10X Points Day. That's what I mean, 10X Points Day. Yeah, those are nice. The Bella Monster Stress Out Solution A Clear Patch, I got those from Style Korean, and uh, they're the type with the dissolvable micro needles. They're, they were fine, they, they were fine. I think I did get a better deal on these than even the Peach Slices version, so you know, it's worth looking around. I, I did like these. And it looks like these also have, oh, they have medecasoside as well as salicylic acid. Yeah, I like these. And our last products to talk about, I have been diligently using my microcurrent and EMS devices. So let me talk to you about some of the, <laughs> so I have a clear favorite here in the Medicube HR Booster Gel. Yeah, this Foreo Serum Serum Serum, look, they sent this to me in PR. This is just way too expensive for what it is. Are you kidding me? A, a microcurrent, a, a serum that's made to be paired with microcurrent that is $59 for one fluid ounce. The Medicube HR Booster Gel, to its credit, this is actually a really nice gel that is a, a much better price per ounce. However, I now have a new favorite and it is the Zip Gel. And I promise you, this video is probably long enough, so I'm not gonna go off about the Zip today. But in the future, I will. I have a lot to say about the zip. Ooh, it's good. Oh, it's good. And my friends, that brings us to the end of another empties video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know if you all have ever stocked up and regretted it, or if you've not regretted it. Leave a comment below. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all next time.